Gentlemen, I'm a new member of staff. You may not recognise me. Professor Gregory? Ah, yes. My favourite subject in the whole wide world is science. And today we're going to be learning about liquids. Now, in school you've probably already learned about solids, liquids and gases and how some materials, when you change their temperature, will change their state. Really obvious example, ice, you heat it up, it turns to water. Water, you heat it up, it turns to steam. Think of that kettle your mum and dad have been constantly boiling. Anyway, when this happens, the bonds in that material are either loosening or breaking. And it means that the material acts differently. Today, we're going to focus in on liquids and how different liquids react when they're mixed together. So we're going to do a little experiment. But first, before any experiment, we should be making predictions. Now, it's important to use what you already know when you're making a prediction. You need to think about how will these things react together? Will they react in the same way or differently? And what's going to happen? Can we describe what we think is going to happen? So, the experiment we're going to do today is we're going to mix water, syrup, mmm, tasty, and oil. Now, we need to think about, will the syrup do the same as the oil? They look very similar. They're the same colour, similar textures. Will they do the same thing when they're added to water? At this point, we need to make a prediction. Hmm. We start our prediction with, I predict. I predict, what do I think will happen? Hmm. I'm going to predict that both things are probably going to do the same thing. They look the same, why wouldn't they? So I predict the syrup and the oil, mm, I think they're both going to just go to the bottom because they're really heavy. We'll sink to the bottom of the glass. I predict the syrup and the oil will sink to the bottom of the glass. But true scientists, they wouldn't just say, I think this and not explain why. I need to say why I think that. I think this because, I think this because both liquids are the same colour and te texture. Do you think I'm right? I hope I'm right. I am a scientist after all. Right, time for the experiment. Okay, so it's time to test my prediction. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour about half a glass full of water. Just plain water, nothing exciting. Then I'm going to choose one of my liquids to pour into it. I'm going to start with the syrup. I like syrup. Right, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pour it in. Now I predicted it was going to go to the bottom of the glass. Fingers crossed, let's see. Excellent! I'm the brilliant scientist I thought I might be. Brilliant! Now, my prediction was that the oil would do the same thing. So, on to the oil. Right. Fingers crossed. Oh yeah! Oh! What's happened? Wow, that's incredible. As you can see, the two liquids have done completely different things, even though they're the same colour and texture. But why? Hmm, 
What has happened here? It's not how I predicted, but it is interesting. Hmm. So the only explanation I can think of is that even though all of these three things were liquids, they must be different densities. The molecules must be packed tighter and more closely together in the syrup that's sunk to the bottom and more loosely in the oil. And that's why the oil floats on the water. Hmm, interesting. Now, Winton, I have a challenge for you. My challenge for you is that you try out this experiment at home. Now, don't forget to make predictions. So what you'll need is a clear glass or bottle, two liquids. Now, make sure you've checked with your parents which liquids you're allowed to use. And then make a prediction about what you think will happen. Will both of the liquids sink to the bottom of the water? Or will one float on the top? Or will both of them? Or will they mix together like squash does? I want to know what you find out because I wasn't expecting this to happen. Right. And for the ultimate key stage two challenge, I want you to try and layer more than two liquids. You can pour in two or three liquids. The most I've managed is four. Right, I'm excited to see your findings, Winton scientists. Good luck, see you soon.